Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm going to try and make this as quick as I possibly can. I have recently ruptured my Achilles tendon. I don't know why I laughed, it's far from funny. Um, so uh, I find out this afternoon if I have to have surgery and this is already impacting on the amount of research I can get done. Um, I wanted to do this video because it's at the 60 day mark for this um, what I, I first considered to be a 40 day torch. I'll just turn off this light so you get an idea. Um, so like I said we've now at we're now at the 60 day mark and this system just involves uh, taking, the run batteries on this side and swapping them over to be receiving batteries on this side of that circuit diagram. Um, the LED is on the negative side. So I need to reiterate, whilst that might not be your uh, take your eye out type brightness, um, this, has, this system has not been recharged now for 60 days and it continues to run it um, basically transfers the power now initially it was 40 days at which point I felt it was probably about a similar weakness a similar brightness and I decided that was time to call it so I swapped the batteries in this system at that time so at the 40 day mark I took these batteries and put them in this position and vice versa so now we're another 20 days on from that these batteries have still received no external input they operate purely uh, this LED operates purely off of the uh, initial charge that I did 60 days ago so just a very handy thing to have um, you know, kept in the house uh, you know, for, for blackouts, that sort of thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these batteries over. So we're at the 60 day mark. We will swap them over and allow the test to continue. Okay, so we take out drive battery first. Place them there. And then we will take the receiving batteries and we will place them into the drive side of the circuit, which is in series, making 3.6 volts. So now that we've got them in there, as soon as the first of these three batteries, um, which are going to be receiving the energy as soon as the first one goes in the light will turn on and that's because these are all in parallel so uh, it'll start transferring power to just the single one and we can see if we get that one in and that one in okay so now we have an increase in brightness because the voltage of those um, of those batteries now that are in the drive side are higher okay so we'll put the um, cable ties back in place and put that back in my hallway and see how much longer than 60 days it can run without any external power. I mean, keep this in mind, guys, that's 60 days. That is that is absolutely phenomenal. I wish I'd have known about this type of system a lot earlier in my research because it would have saved me a ton of work. Well, we could use this for so many different concepts. So I have... Um, I've changed that over. So so now we'll just let that do its thing 
for however many days. I estimate um, we've had a reduction from the initial 40 days to only 20 days to reach the same intensity. I imagine we won't get 20 days out of this further. I imagine maybe 10 days before it reaches that level of consumption, uh, a level of brightness. And then, uh, you know, so we're possibly looking at like a 70 day um you know single charge within 70 days so there are plenty of ways that we can obtain that level of power um to ensure that this thing you know lasts a heck of a lot longer so you can do this with um with large voltages i'll just get rid of that quickly and drag this one into frame this is somewhat of appears to be somewhat of a mess uh, so these two batteries here at the bottom of the screen are in parallel these two batteries here on the left of the screen are in series with each other uh, crudely connected up with jumper leads I've got to get some proper um, 9 volt clips to to attach to these so that they um, it can be a bit neater and stand on their own at the moment it's struggling to stand on its own so if we take a look at it now these have been running for several days and it has transferred the power across to the other set of batteries and we can see it's virtually out like there is a tiny bit if I can get that closer to the camera there is a tiny bit of light coming out there so I will attempt now to uh, swap these batteries over so if we and just to show that that power has not been consumed by the light or the load but that it has been transferred so if we disconnect these batteries these are the drive batteries turn the light back on so that we get a slightly better video there Okay, so we'll put them in the top of the screen where everyone can see those were the drive batteries. These batteries at the bottom here are the parallel receiving batteries where the energy has been transferred to. So we don't have to use up all of our power. Here we can get a lot, a lot longer run times out of our batteries before we need to recharge them. So let's put the old receiving batteries there which are newly charged from the power transfer let's take the original drive ones i'll reconnect those jumper leads so that those are in parallel with each other okay 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 and so that green one has to come across to there as well so that those two batteries are now in parallel with each other this battery connects to this yellow lead connects to the negative on the battery so here and then these two are placed in series So positive to negative and then when we connect try and hold this light in a position so the camera can see when I touch the positive on this side it should transfer the power back to the now empty batteries okay maybe I'll, I'll turn the light off just so you can see that now, this has been going for a few weeks now as well uh, so we saw the brightness out of this your closed system um, we saw that you know that it was very dim before I haven't added in new batteries I haven't added any extra charge all I have done is taken the receiving batteries and made them into the driver batteries and now we can reuse that power again due to inefficiencies a small amount of this power is lost uh, in the transfer process you know, transformed into heat uh, but the main point is 
um, you know, say for example with this one, you're looking at a maximum of 12 hours. If you were to take all six batteries, wire them up in series and then in parallel, so that you've got the same capacity of these six batteries, and they are 2000 milliamp hour batteries, if anyone's wondering. Um, yeah, it's it's just so, so much of a, a better way to um, to use your power. I mean, not so much use it, but just transfer it, get a, a different reaction um, instead of wasting all your power. I mean, normally I would have had to recharge these every day. Um, and as I was saying, if you were to uh, wire this up, you're in the normal conventional sense, you wouldn't get 12 hours. So maybe something to keep in mind. You know, I know power is becoming an issue. I know power shortages are something that every nation will just have to come to terms with. Um, you could be a little bit proactive here. And you know, this is such a cheap system to establish. Uh, if you if you want brighter light than this one, you can add add more LEDs, um, or you can add bigger LEDs. The power will just transfer faster, and so you just swap the batteries earlier. Um, it really is very little difference. Here's the circuit for that particular unit, and I have the LED on the negative rail because it presents a lower potential voltage and gets you a longer run time you can place it on the high side or on you know on the high voltage uh, connecting the two positives together of both those battery banks um, it will be brighter it won't last as long most of my stuff uh, most of my research is done on efficiency not so much you know, the awe aspect of bright, hot arcs and that sort of stuff. And if that's what you're into, I can certainly produce, I actually will be producing some stuff uh, in the not too distant future uh, in an attempt to give people alternative heating arrangement, which is very, very low cost that you could achieve with a very, very cheap solar panel. Um, something that the, the cheap solar panel on its own would not be capable of. Um, but, you know, take this concept, uh, just push all that out of the way, perform it with either the 9 volt system, you know, that you can pick up 9 volt rechargeable batteries relatively cheap. Well, that's not true. It's getting more and more expensive every day. Get your batteries now. You know, you can do this with 12 volts. You could put a big you know, four-wheel drive LED bar there uh, and run the same system. It's no different to this. It's the concept that needs to be passed around. It's, it's the process of transferring power instead of wasting it into heat. And power can neither be created nor destroyed. And you need to keep that in mind. What they teach us in school is that one amp comes out the battery and goes into the light and is consumed. It is not true. For every action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. So the power coming out this side, going into the light, is the same amount of power coming out the other side of the light. Well, where's that power go? In this scenario, it goes into your receiving batteries at which point it's up to you to decide when you want to turn uh, them over and be the run batteries again. You can do it whenever you want. It doesn't have to, you don't have to wait like the 60 days. Um, yeah, just do it whenever you feel you get the most, the best efficiency out of the system. It may have been smarter for me at the 30 day mark to swap them over. I get a continual uh, you know, maybe an extension of the run periods. Um, so yeah, grab yourself some batteries, prove to yourself that you can do this, uh, just with some double A cheap, cheap batteries. You might get out of that for like 30 bucks. There's a light that, you know, if you disconnect those batteries, um, when you need it, 
it will be there for at least 60 days. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. I don't like saying that. I feel it's so corny. But um, you're, it's, more, it's not about what I feel. It's about getting this information out. Allowing everyone to realize they don't have to spend as much money as they do on power. Stop, stop feeling like you're trapped by these monopoly power makers. They're just greedy. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.